Hello Aquarius, Rambler Mike here. Gonna play some tarot cards with you today, my friends. Thank you for tuning in one more time. Thank you for your time, I appreciate your time. Also appreciate you reaching out and touching that like button for me. And all of you that have and are touching that subscribe button, thank you, my friends, very kind of you. Definitely also wanna thank all my Aquarius friends that reach out and bless me with donations. Wow, many of you. Appreciate you, Aquarius, givers amongst you. Thank you. And all of my Aquarius friends that have reached out to me for private readings, mm, love you all. Love reading for Aquarius. Um, so it's amazing to get to know each and every one of you on a more personal level. Anyway, thank you for all of that, my friends. Let's play some cards, huh? This reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April, mid-month. As we head into May of 2019, these readings will be for love and relationships, relationships of all kinds, home, work, family, all of that, my friends. I myself am going to be focusing on love, that's because I love to read for love. We all know there's no way this is going to be for every Aquarian on the planet, sun, moon, rising, Venus, huh? So, hey. If this general r resonates with you, run with it. Have fun with it. If it doesn't, have fun throwing it out, huh? Yeah. I'm my cross watchers. I love you guys. You're welcome here. You know that. I uh, wanted to remind you that even though I'll be saying Aquarius a lot with this reading, it could very well play out from your perspective. Probably will, huh? And you as well, Aquarius, this can play out vice versa. So let's all fire up our intuition, our psychic abilities, all that funness, huh? As we play with this world of tarot today. Chopping your cards for a minute here, Aquarius. Let's go with this right here. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Tarot, we love team. Aquarius is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Aquarius see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures and put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Aquarius. Highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. I appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Aquarius. Caught in the deck. Aquarius, first card out here is Eight of Wands. It's a card of communication. Maybe a text or two showing up for some of my Aquarius as we head towards the merry month of May. Eight Wands of Passion flying through the air. Cupid's arrows of love. Maybe a little trip or something coming in. It's an eight. It's a new beginnings. It's a very positive card. Let's see what crosses over top of it. Yep. Nine of Wands, the old wounded warrior. Yeah, no. Ken, this is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you know, it's the wounded warrior. It's the one that's been through the battle and expecting more of the same, huh? Uh, it could be messages coming in possibly from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Got my old wounded warrior there. You know, what don't kill you makes you stronger. Look how strong he is right there. Has his walls up, though. You can see him. Definitely has the walls up there. Those wands of passion, though. Still has the one wand of passion in his hand there. That's because, well, this old wounded warrior, he ain't got no quitting sense. He's always about, well, one last push. Let's see if we can manifest this right here. Base of the spread is the high priestess. Huh? Wow. Uh, <laughs> somebody's following their intuition here. Is ever reaching out, possibly, huh? This is a major arcana. It's Cancer, Pisces. It's my high priestess. She's all about intuition psychic abilities, the dreamer. Hmm? Maybe maybe somebody's reaching out to my Aquarius friends because they can't quit dreaming about you, Aquarius. Hmm. 
Yeah. Interesting. And, and definitely the spirituality aspect of this, you know, people flying high here vibrationally. Yeah. The high priestess at the base of the spread. New communication coming in. Aquarius being like the wounded warrior. Hmm. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, because in the distant past, or in the recent past, was Five of Cups. The old cup spiller. Uh, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. And, you know, the high priestess can talk about secrets, too. Uh, you know, many of my Aquarius friends had a cup spiller in their world right there. Running around, spilling all these cups. There's damn three of them right there. Hmm. But the two cups are behind here. Two cups always talk about the true love to old Mikey. You know, not supposed to be focusing on the spilled cups. Supposed to be turning around and picking up those two cups, going over the bridge, over troubled water, back to that high vibrational world. Yeah, my wounded warrior right there, huh? Uh-huh. You know, there's, here we go. Six of Pentacles crowning the spread. One thing's for sure, this person may reach out to Aquarius right here, uh, but uh, they better come in with equal reciprocity, equal give and take. Uh, because even if it is the Two of Cups right here, you know what I mean? If there's not equal give and take, if somebody's been giving more to one person than to the other right there, Aquarius ain't going to put up with that. Uh, and also, I mean, the high priestess right here, Aquarius can see right through that. Yeah, definitely this journey has brought many of my Aquarians to a very high spiritual level in their life. You can see through things like glass anymore. Hmm. Six of Pentacles, reciprocity is needed in this situation, equal give and take. That old wounded warrior right there, he knows all that. He's staring right at intuition right there. You're not going to go down this old Five of Cups road over here, this old River of Tears. He ain't playing with that. Aquarius ain't playing with that. If this person's going to come back in, they need to bring reciprocity, equal give or take. And this is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Immediate future. Well, here comes the little fire sign. That uh, has just been in Aquarius readings since I can remember. Hmm? Definitely disappeared for a while, didn't they? I didn't see him in Aquarius read for uh, a season here. But the Knight of Wands is showing back up in Aquarius spread. This is somebody, they're fun, they're charismatic, they're generally good looking, they're exciting. Uh, they want to come in and have some fun with Aquarius, you know? Uh, right there, eight of wands, man. These are messages coming in, but you know, eyes wide open, huh, Aquarius? You know, uh, the high priestess and everything else. Uh, it's a fun energy. These people, they don't bother me, you know, because uh, when well, they're young and they're exciting and they're fun and all that. But if you're looking for a commitment, huh? But if you're looking for a commitment, Probably not going to find it at this particular time with this friend right here. And this is, you know, fire, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Right. Very playful energy. Very exciting. You know, don't let them turn you into the wounded warrior right here. They come back in. There needs to be equal reciprocity, equal give and take. Don't let them spill the cups in your life anymore, Aquarius, you know. Be the wounded warrior. Learn from all of this situation right here. But they're definitely galloping right here towards my wounded warrior, are they not? Huh? I love the five because the fives always talk about change. Change because of the contrast and the spirituality that many of my Aquarians have, have come into. Probably because of, you know, the friend right here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Ten of Cups. Look at my Aquarius, right? <laughs> Ten of Cups. How Aquarius, 
You know, this really tells me that Aquarius is not going to put up with anything in their life that is not Ten of Cups. You know, the happy ever after, the happy home, you know, the loving couple, the, the rainbow with the uh, nine cups of wish fulfillment, the tenth cup in the lover's hands, the babies, the bliss running in the yard, the happy home. Many of my Aquarius, uh, I mean, when Ten of Cups shows up right here, they're looking for a uh, a committed relationship, you know. But we got a we got a little want we got a little we got a little knight running around here. Seven of Pentacles. There we go. More of that uh, patience situation showing up. Divine timing. My wounded warrior. They're definitely gonna come in and take a look at you one more time, Aquarius, huh? Seven of Pentacles. Many of my Aquarius have been patient with this person. And I love it. The money tree right here. Many of my Aquarius have been hitting it out of the park financially. Because, hmm? uh, I mean, all these all these coins right here, they all have grapes on them. You know, and the gardener and the live pines looking down at this one pinnacle. It don't got no grapes. So. But I sure would be nice if this one was to get some grapes on it. But I'm grateful and thankful for all these amazing gifts that the universe has blessed me with. That's how we change things, huh? We focus on the Ten of Cups that is in our life. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow, Aquarius. Huh? The High Priestess. And the Empress have showed up in just a few short cards right here. Wow. Um, you know, and this is Aquarius. It's in your hopes position. It is the Empress. It is sacred feminine energy. It is hoping for new beginnings in abundance and new beginnings in love to come in, you know. And uh, strongly using law of attraction. My Empress, she doesn't get up and chase anybody or anything. I don't see Aquarius chasing. I see them coming towards Aquarius right here. Because uh, she knows her worth. You know, the Empress, she don't get up and chase things around her empire. She knows she's the Empress. She runs her empire. She uses law of attraction to attract her love and abundance of the highest degree. You know, definitely tuned in, tapped in, turned on, Aquarius. Look at this. Wow. Of course, of course this friend is going to come galloping in. Who doesn't want to hang out with the Empress and the High Priestess? I mean, really, you know, the one that knows how to manifest this. Mm-hmm. Patient, because you know what you want to manifest. You know, here we go. What well, we got for an outcome right here. Three of Cups definitely talks about a reunion coming in here for many of my Aquarius. It is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. My Empress is uh, Venus. This is Taurus, Libra. I also place Aries with that card right there. And my High Priestess is Pisces, Cancer. May mean something to you, may not. But definitely uh, a reunion coming in here. Eight of Wands, forward movement. You may take a little trip with this person right here. Go and see uh, if you can manifest the Ten of Cups. But we do got a red flag, don't we? Three cups showing up here. And the old three cups that are spilled right up there. And, the, and them showing up as this night again, still. This person may not have changed their ways, but... Many of my Aquarians may want to go and play with them. Hmm? Uh, because the reunion, I mean, this is a card of great happiness and great joy and great bliss. And like I said, this person right here, this is somebody fun and exciting and passionate and all of that. They're hard to resist. They really are. But eyes wide open. Let's not let them take us through the river of tears this time, huh? Let's know that there's a possibility that they're still playing around with other people. Probably are, hmm. but they can't resist Aquarius because they can see Aquarius knows how to manifest this, the happy ever after. Hmm. Had all these cards in the recent past that somebody's been watching Aquarius from the distance and all that. Wouldn't be surprised if my little uh, Knight of Swords shows up here. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Six of Swords. 
This is very interesting. This comes about, this talks about coming out of dark night of the soul, movement, travel. Once again, may go on a little trip with this person right here. Um, I mean, I don't see you running away from him. I see you eyes wide open, the high priestess, huh? And, you know, using law of attraction. And if you really like this person, which I think many of you do with Three of Cups, that's great excitement, great joy, bliss, happy, happy, joy, joy. You know, uh, you're, you're you're attracting this person back in because, you, you know, you desire Ten of Cups with this person right here. And this is Six of Swords. This talks about coming out of choppy waters. Talks about heading over to Paradise Island right over there. I mean, this person may be coming back in because wherever they've been for a minute, it may not have been all that pleasant for them because this can talk about life lessons as well. You know, the six swords up on the front of the boat, you know, somebody being sad. They learned a lot of lessons possibly while they were gone here. And, uh, you know, the inner child looking up at the oarsman like, yes, Mr. Oarsman, please. We want to come out of these choppy waters. We'd like to go over there to Paradise Island. We'd like to go over here to these smoother waters. Please take us over there. Definitely a change and definitely eight of wands, six of swords and my, uh, my little great adventure right here. But I tell you, Aquarius is absolutely going to be looking for reciprocity, equal give and take, you know, equal give and take with this person right here. Let's see what else we got. Six of wands. Another six. Sixes. These talk about harmony coming in in the future here. You know, this is victory after the battle, my wounded warrior. Victory after the battle right here. Um, because of confidence within yourself. It's interesting. Yeah, right there, the Queen of Pentacles showed up off of the bottom of the deck. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. You know, this is the one that Aquarius would consider the catch. This is the one that you would marry, want a committed relationship with. This is wifey, mommy, uh, male or female. Mm -hmm. uh, it's somebody that lives in a very magical world. They have spirituality to a certain degree with that golden pair right there. They tried to eat right, take care of their body. They're fun. There's that little pan running around in their in their woods right there. But they have the potential to uh, be the one. Is really what I'm seeing with the spread right here. This is coming in in the future. Maybe they do shift. Maybe Aquarius uh, helping them change, helping them to become this high priestess energy as well. They definitely are recognizing the empress and the high priestess and the, and the ten of cups potential with you, my Aquarius friends. You know, you have been patient, many of you, and, and here they come back in. You know, this is the law of attraction that brought this person back in. Just saying, Aquarius. But um, there's my Aquarian right there, huh? Uh, the old ice queen. Hmm? Got the sword raised up. When you approach her, you need to approach her right. Isn't that right? You know, because uh, she's been jaded in love. Hmm? But she hasn't allowed that to scar her in any way, shape, or form. She used all that and turned it into wisdom and spirituality. She may seem a little cold and detached on the outside, but inside she's ooey-gooey, soft and chewy. That's because this queen knows how to be alone, can be alone, but truly desires her soulmate, you know. The, uh, <laughs> the Ten of Cups and the, and the uh, Queen of Pentacles right there. I see them. They're going to come charging in here. They're going to come charging in here for you, Aquarius. Air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, sun, moon, rising. They're going to come charging in here for you. A lot of passion for you, Aquarius. And uh, this is a, this is, they're, they're quick because they, this is a card being able to come in and get out if they need to because, well, they may owe you about a thousand apologies, huh? It's right here. Definitely going to come charging in. There's Aquarius, you know. Don't chop their blooming head off yet. Hmm. Because they could be the one, you know, with that Queen of Pentacles. There could be victory after this battle. This has gone on for a while. It's definitely caused Aquarius to fly high. And then we do have messages of love. My Princess of Cups. 
This can talk about somebody right here, this very young energy, having some kind of an awakening. See, she's talking to a fish in a cup right there. Aquarius done already had it. You know, right here, this high priest is, and oh, by the way, you know, this is contagious. High vibration is contagious, my friend. Let's fly high. Looks like it could be rubbing off on your friend right here. They definitely want to come charging in. They definitely want to clear the air with you. They definitely want to tell you something right here. This is like an apology. Tell you, Aquarius, I got feelings for you. I'm sorry I didn't show you before. They, they going to come in here. Absolutely. They, the passion, they can't stay away. And there it is, huh? That passion in New Beginning, Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords, a completion of a painful cycle with a new day dawning. And the Judgment card. Gabriel flying around, blowing the trumpet. There's the lovers coming up out the grave. A second chance, third chance, once again, a card of an apologies. Huh? Definitely need to restore trust and respect. And then we can get up here to ooey gooey, soft and chewy love, huh? They're definitely coming in. They're a little skittish uh, because they didn't treat Aquarius right from what I can see right here. All this five of cups, six of pentacles, uh, three of cups. And they still may be playing that energy right there. You know what I'm talking about right now. It's all about the future. It definitely talks about change and people learning life lessons here. And these two amazing queens on the board right here. Be it male or female or same sex, whatever. It's love. It's beautiful. They're going to come rushing in. They owe you some apologies. They know it. There's an apology card. There's an apology card. There's an apology card. There's a passionate card. There's a passionate card. And somebody definitely wants to end a very painful cycle with their Aquarian. And they want a new beginning with their Aquarian right here. Who? Two of Cups, huh? Soulmate, Twin Flame, Life Partner situation right here. Yeah, Water Energy, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, huh? Aquarius, been tuned into this for a while. Aquarius, many of you have known who this person is the whole time. They just look like they're just figuring it out. It's a nice spread, Aquarius. It really is. You know, if this resonates with you, knock it out of the park. Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, all the spirituality that's happened with Aquarius life right there. Woo! Beautiful, my friends. And then Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. You know, that's my blacksmith that gets up early in the morning and works at this situation, you know. These kind of relationships just don't float down from heaven. There's a lot of work put in, and it needs to be equal reciprocity. And I'm sure that Aquarius is going to explain that to their friend right here when they do come prancing in on these ponies right here. Hmm. Beautiful, Aquarius. All right, let's throw out some love cards on this for Aquarius. <laughs> oh, look at this right here. It is safe for you to love. Well, that needs to be proven by them, huh? The proof's in the pudding. Hmm. Aquarius, you got the sword up right there. I'm giggling because it says it's safe for you to love. I'll right on top of my queen of swords. You know what that talks about to me is keeping your heart chakra open in the midst of all of this, huh, Aquarius? Allowing that agape love to come in, allowing that agape love to come out from the universe, my empress and my high priestess. That's, we can't afford to shut that heart chakra down. Hmm? We want to attract amazing love and abundance into our lives. So, you know, keep your heart chakra open, all right? And your eyes wide open as well. More for Aquarius, please, huh? Here we go. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yeah, right there. I saw it with my Knight of Wands. They, they, they want to come in and tell you something right here, Aquarius. They want to tell you that they're sorry and that they love you and that they want a second chance with you, Aquarius, and that they want to end this painful cycle, that it's been painful for them as well. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Be straight up. Tell them about the Six of Pentacles. Tell them about that Five of Cups. Tell them about the Three of Cups right up here. Tell them. <laughs> or if not, you're probably going to set them in time out again. New love. Look at that right there. New love. It can talk about an upgrade in love has come in here. It can also talk about somebody brand new coming in for Aquarius. It's absolutely a beautiful spread for you, my friend. 
<laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And for new love to come in, many of you are freeing yourself from a situation right here. Freeing yourself from this uh, uh, third party situation. Coming out of dark night of the soul, uh, you know. But uh, if it is somebody new coming in, don't chop their head off for this foolishness right here, of course. But for many of you, I feel it's a situation from the past that is coming back around again one more time. New love, safe for you to love, heart to heart uh, uh, conversations, and look at finances and career. Uh, <laughs> always love it. I mean, Six of Pentacles, the great philanthropist. The money tree. Uh, many of my Aquarians are just busy making some serious coin right now. Let's not let that get in the way of the possibility for some amazing love to show up here. That would be nice. Huh? That old transit with Uranus. It's time for Aquarius to have some amazing love come into their world right there. After all that, it does say express your love. Go ahead. Make that romantic gesture. It's a nice spread, Aquarius. It's gonna be a fun summer for you. It's gonna look a lot like this right here. Oh, beautiful. Throw a major out on here for Aquarius, please. Here we go. Major for Aquarius. Justice, that's Libra on the board, justice. The balancing out of karma has the head, the brain in one hand with my tarot Luma, with my uh, David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust tarot deck here. Got the brain and got the heart, huh? Wow. It's all about uh, that balance, isn't it? Um, not too much head, not too much heart, huh, Aquarius? Balancing that right there. It's absolutely beautiful. Justice coming in for many of my Aquarius in the arena of love. It has begun right here. Has begun right there. And, and then, of course, the high priestess, huh? Again, the high priestess. Persephone, huh? Greek mythology. She was drugged to Hades and clawed her way back out. Huh? She's been to both sides. Uh, <laughs> had to go through hell to get to heaven. Persephone is right here, the high priestess. And, and all of these amazing lessons that my Aquarius have learned and are learning about love, my friends. Definitely hope you enjoy this reading, Aquarius. Namaste. Love and light, my friends. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.